Hey everybody, Big Money Guy here with part two of how to use Sogo Trade trading platform. Again, the reason we're making these videos is to demonstrate how to use the Sogo Trade website. All the YouTube videos I've found so far are on Sogo Trade are four to seven years old. They're all demonstrating the old trading platform. So now we're the new trading platform has been around for a couple of years, so now we're going to demonstrate how to use it. And we're just hanging out here watching CNBC, um, like all good traders do during the day. So we're back to our overview page, and we've got our, our account information blocked out again so we don't get embezzled. This is the account overview page from the drop-down menu. And now we're going to go to trading platforms. Yesterday in part one, we demonstrated sogo online which is this page right here and today we're going to demonstrate sogo trader which gives you more detailed information just another way to buy and sell equities but this one's going to give you more detailed information in this area and over here on charts and volume and things like that so we're going to use an example today from our drop down menu here we're going to click on one of our recents most recent used symbols was SPXL. SPXL is a ETF. It's and it shows up here. Direct shown daily S and P 500 bull 3x shares. Basically, what that means is this is an ETF that tracks the S and P 500, and it goes up and down three times the volume, the three times the price of the underlying equity, the S and P 500. So if the S and P goes up. 1% uh, in a day, this ETF will go up 3% the same day. That's the basic explanation for that. And again, you can see more detailed information. You can customize your charts, candlestick chart, position chart, account uh, values chart. Over here on the left, it shows you the day's range, previous close, 52-week range. The last price here, 34.75. This ETF is trading near the low of its 52-week period. The low was around 31 and change. So that basically means what? It means the S&P has been going up a lot lately. And this is um, at a low because it's a, it's a bull ETF. So um, the high for the year was 132. So we're, we're a long way off of that. So today's action we're going to choose is a sell order. And we're going to sell 100 shares of SPXL. The order type, we're going to put in a basic market order today, which means that our fill price, when we try and sell this security, our fill price is going to be very close to the last price shown here, 34.74. Um, it's just basically going to sell whatever the current market value is. Now we're going to go over here on the right and click on verify order. We're going to get an error message because we don't actually own this security. You can't sell something that you don't own unless you're doing options and such. Can't place order the share quantity exceeds your position. Um, but if we did own it, we would show us what the expected proceeds and costs would be here. And we're going to go ahead and X out of that. Just cancel the order. You can see 100, sell 100 shares of SPXL. And that's pretty much it for this page. Again, that's in comparison to our other sell page, our other um, placing order page, which is Sogo Online, shown here. And that's two ways to place an order on Sogo Trade. I hope this was helpful. That's it for today's video. Uh, next time, we're going to be demonstrating the two basic um, buy and sell methods for the Robinhood trading app. It's a new app that lets people uh, trade equities without a commission fee. And I'll show you how to download that and how to use it in a next series of videos. So that's it today for Sogo Trade logging out. See you guys and hopefully all profits are made in abundance. See you soon on CNBC.